And it's a wonderful example how few people can capture a vision and with energy, enthusiasm, faith, just move on and change things. Think of, in our country, the food banks led by the Russell Trust, a great Christian organization which is now widely regarded. Think about um, Archbishop Justin's credit unions, which I think is also at the cutting edge also. I could give other illustrations, and you can think of them too, of organizations in this country which started with a few people thinking out of the box. Every church should have one or two relevant ministers to the society around. Now, you can't do everything. And I often say to clergy, do fewer things better. Single out the things you can do. It might be in all people's work. It could be in children's work. It could be that a few are involved in local councils. I don't know. But if our work is really only focusing on us in turning up to church, keeping buildings like this, wonderful buildings going, no, that is not enough. Now, as I look at the church today, one of the most worrying, most urgent gaps is in young people's work. So many churches today have no ministry to young people whatsoever, and we ought to be ashamed of ourselves. And it means they've got no concern about the future. I said uh, many times in the past that we are one generation away from extinction. If we do not invest in young people, then there's going to be nobody around in the future. It's urgent. Now, for most of us here, our hearts were touched when the Lord touched us when we were young people. And I'm sure if I asked you to put up your hand, most of us would say, yeah, that is when I discovered a living faith for myself. How can it be that we should withhold this from our young people? Yes, we know that young people are notoriously difficult. They are a very high maintenance indeed. But so were you. So was I. And somehow a place was found for us in the church. Someone cared for us, encouraged us, and we've got to do the same. You know, the key word here is energy. Energy. And we know that any ministry is going to be very demanding indeed. 